Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video, first of all, my name is Olivia and I am a senior at University of South Florida and I've just been filming some lifestyle clothes kind of vlogs. Um, this is going to be another vlog. I'm going to get out my phone and use that to film, but I just wanted to start the video kind of sit down. I have my nicer camera out because I'm going to start it with a haul. So I'm going to Nashville on Thursday. It's currently Monday and in the next few days I have like nail appointments, hair appointments, so I'm going to kind of bring you guys along for my trip pack and prep, but I'm also going to show you guys what I bought to pack. So I'm going to first start out with accessories, shoes, that kind of thing. So the first thing I want to talk about is I got these sunglasses from Amazon actually. They look just like the Lispex from Revolve or, you know, Lispex, but I think they're really cute and a really good daytime sunglass because they are polarized, but they're nice and light too. So I love those. I'm really happy with that purchase. Then I got this belt. This is the, I believe it's Wilfred or maybe Babaton brand from Aritzia. Oh, it's Wilfred. So this is the solid brass gold buckle belt and I love it. I think black and brass go well with everything. So, and I'm a gold jewelry wearer, so I love stuff like this. And then one of my favorite purchases from, from my trip is actually these beautiful little heels. So these are from Mango actually, and I got these in a European 38. I run between a seven and a seven and a half in heels because my feet are different sizes. So um, they actually fit perfectly on my right foot and then a little bit big on my left foot, but since they have the heel strap and their closed toe, that's totally fine. Um, this style is just so chic and will never go out of, out of style in my opinion, but I love them and I'm so excited to wear them with literally everything. Jeans, skirts, dresses, sweatpants, leggings, gym clothes, like they're stunning. So I love these. All right, I'm moving into some clothes. So the very first article of clothing I'm going to talk about is this Free People dress. It is so beautiful. Uh, I'm not going to be able to fit the whole thing in the clip, but I will do, do a, some sort of try on at some point in the video, maybe when I'm like planning out my outfits to wear. But um, it's just this huge billowy silhouette and I love the pleating that kind of starts at the breast and then moves down. I think it's like a classic kind of dress that will last me forever. And the inside actually has a little grippy part so you can take off the strap. So next clothing item situation I'm going to talk about. I got some underwear from Skims. I'm not going to show them all individually, but these are the Fits Everybody collection underwear. And I'm obsessed with the way that these feel on. Like they just feel like a second skin and they're so seamless. It's amazing. And then I didn't just buy these, but I decided to include them in the haul anyways because I'm going to be wearing them in Nashville, and I just think that they're like a perfect fall staple. So these are the Levi's overalls. I have them in a lighter wash, um, and I think I, I think I got these in a medium. I just feel like they look so cute over sweaters for fall with a pair of sneakers. So love these. Next article of clothing I got, I'm obsessed with. And every person that I've tried this on for also loves it. So I'm sure you guys, if you're into fall fashion and stuff, you've been seeing how these off-the-shoulder type tops are super popular. So this top is from Naked. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it looks so cute with jeans or like a big white circle skirt. So I love this so much and I'm so happy that I got this. And I'm also bouncing around between stores but I will link everything below so it's easy for you guys to find in order. Just, it's not gonna be easy for my brain to keep track of all of it, but that is fine. Okay, and then I just have some jeans. Gonna be packing these for Nashville, but I didn't just buy them, so I'm gonna omit them from the haul. Then I got this mini skirt that I'm obsessed with. It's from Mango, again, like where the heels were from, and I never thought that I'd be a low-rise micro mini skirt girl, but it's so flattering because it like does a really good job of kind of hiding like your lower abdomen, but then it shows off your legs. So I think my legs are kind of like what I'm more confident about. So I love stuff like this. I got this in a size small and I would say it runs a little bit big. I've run between like a small and a medium and the small is like a teeny bit large. So this is an amazing staple for mango. And if you guys are looking for a micro mini denim skirt, this is a great place to get one. Next, so I unfortunately will not be able to link this top, 
but I still wanted to include it because I'm definitely going to be able to find a dupe for it. Or not a dupe because this was like $3. Sorry, my roommate's boyfriend is screaming. But this is um, just a black lace tank top. It's full length, so I feel like it looks really cute over top of skirts instead of being tucked in. Or you can tuck it in with that black leather belt that I sh showed with a pair of jeans. would be adorable. The next article of clothing I got is actually from Princess Polly. But, and I say that like that because typically their stuff doesn't really fit me very well, but this actually looked really cute on. Um, it definitely rides up because it's not a skirt, it's just a skirt, but um, it gives me hope to try some more of their stuff in the future. It's just a black micro mini skirt. I planned on wearing this with, you know, a pair of heels or maybe some tall black boots. It'd be cute for going out or even like with a t-shirt or sweater for fall because I do live in Florida, so it's a little bit more temperate here. And then I got this super cute graphic t-shirt. It has little cherries on it and I just think it's like a perfect t-shirt. It's not like a tight baby tee, it's like a looser one, but it's still super flattering and so cute and I can't wait to wear this out or during the daytime. Um, another, another article of clothing I got was this little brown dress from Princess Polly. Um, honestly, it's a little bit big around the bust area, but um, it fits really well lengthwise. But I love the brown polka dots. I just think it's so cute and would be really versatile. You can dress it up or down. Next, I got this Babaton contour tube top. And it's not a bodysuit, it's just a top. It's red, I love red right now. I think everyone and their mother loves red right now. But this is so flattering, like it squeezes. And I have like CDs, but you don't even need to like wear a bra with it, honestly, so. This is amazing, and I'm so excited I got that from Aritzia. Next order of business is this insanely amazing sweater. This is from Naked, the same place that that off-the-shoulder top is from. It's just a horizontally black and white striped sweater. I think it's perfect for fall. It doesn't have cinching at the bottom or at the end of the sleeves, so I feel like it's just so cozy and nothing squeezes too tight, but I love this, and I will be ordering more sweaters from them because I'm pretty sure it was, aff it was very affordable too, like I think it was 70 and then they usually do a lot of 20% off, 30% off type deals, so I thought that was a really good price for a sweater that feels so nice and heavy. This skirt I've had for a little but I wanted to show it because I just think it's so cute and they still have it in the store. This is from Abercrombie as well. It is a, let me button this really fast. This is their high rise midi denim skirt and it has a slit in the front. Um, I just think it's like a perfect transitional piece from summer to fall. It's going to be so cute when I go to Nashville too. Like I plan on wearing this during the day with that off the shoulder top, um, a little belt and then some boots. So I thought that'd be so adorable and I wanted to show it. And then we're getting to the end, but from Motel Rocks, I got this little tank top. As you guys know, the um, soft girl aesthetic with the little bows, obviously it's very trendy right now, thanks to Miss Haley Bieber, but this top is so cute and so flattering. It has the lace trimming and then it has a cute little bow on the front. So I just thought this would be so cute with a pair of jeans and a denim jacket to kind of get like that monochrome denim feel. So I love this. Last but not least, I have two pieces that are matching, also from Aritzia. These are the Boyfriend um, Sweat Fleece. No, the Sweat Fleece Cozy Fleece Boyfriend Fit Sweats. Um, I wish that I had gotten a small in these, but I got a medium, um, because I'm usually the girl that sizes up to like an XL in her sweatshirts and a medium in her sweatpants, but um, these are already oversized, which I kind of knew, but I wanted them to be big, so whatever. They're so cute though, they're so soft, and I love navy right now as well. I always thought I hated blue on me, but I think that the darker, like warm blue makes my blonde look good, so I got this and then I got the matching sweatshirt this is also the boyfriend hoodie I got this in a large I should have done a medium so just for reference if you're the same size as me I would probably just stick with like maybe one upsize um, on the top and just don't upsize if the sweatpants are already oversized but this set is so cute and cozy together I've been wearing it for um, like class and then I've been throwing in like a pair of gold earrings and I think that looks so cute I also got some jewelry, so I'm going to show you guys that next. Okay, last but certainly not least is jewelry. I think jewelry is what makes an outfit because recently I've been trying to kind of buy clothes that are a little more basic, but then spice it up with jewelry and accessories and bags and stuff. So 
I got this bracelet from Anthropology yesterday. It's just a gold kind of like stretchy bangle and it fits really nicely and I think it looks really expensive with the rods. So I think it was less than $40. Yeah, it was. It was 30 bucks. And I'll try to link it if I can find it online, but it doesn't have a name on here. But I love this. I think it's so cute and I needed more bracelets really bad. And then while I was there, I got this little rosette um, necklace. I know these are kind of probably going out of style as we speak because they've just kind of been a little overdone in my opinion, but I think that they're still really cute. Um, I was going to wear it in Nashville, which is the reason why I bought it, honestly, because I wouldn't wear this on like a day-to-day -day basis, but I think the rosette with like an all-black outfit for going out would be super western feeling and really cute. Then from Amazon, actually, I got some really cool pieces. So I got first these gold hoops. They're not your traditional circle. They're kind of more of like a teardrop shape that are a little heavier down here and a little lighter up here, but they're really nice quality feeling and I definitely have been wearing these a lot and I love them so much so far. Then the next pair of earrings that I got were also from Amazon. These are like some little domes. I know those um, Bottega dupes from Amazon are really popular right now as well, but I wanted something with a similar feel, like that chunky gold earring look without being so bulky and kind of, again, like the, um, everyone knows that they're a dupe now, so I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that at all because I have my fair share of dupes, but I just wanted something a little more unique, so these were really fun and a really good purchase. They were like 12 bucks. And then the last pair of earrings that I got was are these beautiful Kate Spade flowers, and they have pearls and little, I don't know, they're definitely not diamonds, but little crystal kind of looking situation and I think these are so cute and I've been loving like big gold earrings recently so that is my haul I'm leaving in around an hour or so to go to my hair appointment and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me so I will see you in a few okay so for my hair I think I'm gonna do something like this it's like a little bit of a warmer blonde but I love how creamy it looks like all the way up to her root this is another picture I saved but I usually do something like this this is the last time I got my hair done and my girl kills it every time um, it was definitely really bright for summer though, so I'm just debating like staying like this or this was it up. I love the way that this looks, but I think I'm going to do something like this or like this. Hi guys, I'm about to head out. I just wanted to do a quick little outfit. So I'm wearing those glasses I was talking about in the hall. And then I have on this little baby tee from Brandy Melville. My bag is Charles and Keith. My belt is an old fry belt, fry, fry leather. My jeans are old Princess Polly jeans, but I think they still sell them actually. And then I'm just wearing my Sambas. But I just wanted to check in. I'm so excited to be blonde again. Like my roots, you can see, just, it just looks a little scary. So very excited. I will see you guys in a minute. gagged right now okay I go to Kelsey at Haas Salon in Tampa and I don't have any words to describe that woman she knows me better than I know myself every time I leave her chair I'm actually the most confident person in the world like I have less makeup on than what we started with today but I'm feeling like on top of the world this is step one of the pack and prep we just did my warm, bright teasy light, and then we added, sorry, I keep changing the lighting, but we added some low lights around and in the back to kind of make it more like natural feeling, but I'm obsessed with it, and I just wanted to show you guys really fast. I'm gonna head to the mall to pick up some jeans, I think is what I'm looking for, and maybe pop into Sephora, but I just wanted to show you guys. I'm obsessed with it. I feel so insanely good, and I'm so happy with it, so I just wanted to show you. Hi guys, I just got back from the mall. I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul. I only got two things, but they're exactly what I wanted, so I'm really excited. So, first thing I got, this sweater. I have been wanting like the Cezanne, Jenny Kane type full length cardigan sweaters, but I can't find them anywhere for some reason. I feel like it's such a basic piece, but I can't ever find them. So I'm so happy I found that. It's really cute. It's like a little tighter around your waist. So it just looks really expensive, I think. And then I've been looking for a pair of straight leg jeans for a while. And Zara jeans usually fit me like crap, but these ones actually fit me. Ah, sweater on the floor. 
but these ones actually fit me so nice. They're like a medium wash and then the stitching is yellow. So I feel like they look like some vintage Levi's and I love them. These two actually look really cute together too. But that's all from the mall. I'm gonna make some dinner and then I will see you guys at the next time I'm doing something to get ready for Nashville. Hey y'all, I just finished up at the nail salon. I got just bubble bath, short, gel tips. Um, I just wanted something like natural feeling that would grow out really nice. I do like a square rectangle, but I tapered at the end so it's not so bulky. Anyways, I just wanted to come back on and end the video really fast because I'm just packing the rest of tonight, tonight, packing the rest of the night tonight, and then we head out tomorrow morning for Nashville. So that was all the haul, all the prep I did. I'm just gonna like kind of self tan later and get on the road. But I just wanna say thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you did like it or wanna subscribe. And follow me on Instagram. All my social media handles are the same, just Liveman. And yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching. I really, I had a good time making this video. I love clothes and I love travel. So thank you guys so much and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.